Hello everyone, Salty Head here, all ready for some more adventure. This time we're gonna head up to Provincetown, the Cape Cod National Seashore to check out the dune shacks that were built a very long time ago. There's 14 of them, and this is where the artists write books, poetry, and paint paintings. And they're very unique and very interesting. But first we're gonna head to Adventure Bound Campground in Truro to go set up our camp. From our campground, we have about a half a mile hike to the head of the Meadow Beach through this nice pine forest. So here I'm greeted by this nice girl who wanted to point out that there's sharks at this beach, which I didn't kind of, kind of brushed it off. So anyways, uh, we go down and settle in a, to our little encampment and everything's nice and quiet and peaceful. We're having a nice lunch when all of a sudden. No worries, it was just a great white shark patrolling the beach and everybody got out of the water just in the nick of time. Now we're at the trailhead to the dune shacks. And this is located across from Snail Road off the Route 6 Highway. And a couple things to consider when you're hiking the desert-like conditions. You're gonna bring, you wanna bring plenty of bottled water, some sunscreen, and also some shoes or sandals because the sand gets very hot and will burn your feet. There's also a couple hazards you need to be aware of while taking the half mile hike out to the dune shacks. One is the poison ivy, which grows quite prolifically. And the other is the deer ticks, which could have Lyme, and if bitten, could cause you some serious health issues. So after hiking quite a ways through desert-like conditions, all of a sudden I come across this little wetland, which is more than likely spring-fed. And here everything is lush and green. And then on the other side, I look and I see this beautiful patch of wild cranberries, which are almost ripe for the picking. As soon as they turn bright red, they're ready to eat. And here we have the beautiful Ragosa rose, which I found here in the dunes, and also grows all over Cape Cod. It produces a beautiful pink flower. Sometimes you find them in white or various other shades. And it also produces a fruit, which is called the rose hip. And you can eat the rose hips, use it in tea or in jams. It tastes very good and has lots of vitamin C. Next, as I'm walking through the dunes, I came across this beautiful patch of beach plums. Now, these are purple and they're just about ready to be picked. And they make a really good beach plum jelly, which is really delicious. This is the dune heather, which they also call poverty grass, which has a pretty yellow flower when in bloom. Here we have the dusty miller plant. And this is the beach pea with a delicate purple flower. There goes Arts Dune Tours out of Provincetown if you don't feel like hiking. So here's the first sign that I'm getting close to the dune shacks. Here's somebody collected a bunch of fishing gear off the beach. 
And now we have arrived at the first of many dune shacks. So let's go check them all out. Here I'm looking east through the dune grass and you can see the rooftops of many of the dune shacks and how spaced out they are. And in the background you can see the Pilgrim Monument which towers over the whole national seashore. This is one of the many water wells that I found while meandering through the dunes. And this is probably used to get their fresh water for washing and drinking. And the plastic jug, the water doesn't look very good, but it's probably just for priming the pump. And this is a nice couple I met from Milan, Italy, while out in the dunes, who were very happy to get directions to the beach from a local. And also, they were happy to be in my Salty Head Adventures video. And here I have a series of outhouses that I photographed that are all very unique and interesting and able to withstand the harsh winters and the northeast gales that blow through here all winter long. And here's a dune shack that's just been freshly renovated, so I don't think these shacks will be going away anytime soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of the, of the dune shacks of the Cape Cod National Seashore. This place is great. As you can see, all the huts are very unique and anyone can come out here and stay. It's all by lottery. And the president, John F. Kennedy did, Kennedy did a great job in protecting this for everyone to enjoy. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. And now I would like to end with this gorgeous sunset view at the Race Point Lighthouse.